Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Rabid Dogs from 1974. It's the fifth film in the Baba Box Volume 2, is directed by Mario Bava, and stars Leah Leander and George Eastman. But Shadwell, I hear you say, you're showing a case for a film called Kidnapped, not Rabid Dogs. And I say, shut up. Rabid Dogs and Kidnapped are two versions of the same film, and at the time this box set was released, the Kidnapped cut had just been released, so this box set was very proud of having Kidnapped in it, but kept the original version of Rabid Dogs on the same disc. Why it didn't mention this on the disc itself, like Lisa and the Devil slash The House of Exorcism did, I don't know. Of the two versions, even though more technical thought went into Kidnapped, most agree that Rabid Dogs is the version to go with. This being my first time watching the film, I decided to just go with a popular thought on it and watch Rabbit Dogs. Maybe some other day, months down the road, I'll watch Kidnap so I can see which I like better, but Rabbit Dogs wasn't so bad to begin with. It was made in 1974, but then after principal photography wrap, the producer went bankrupt and the film got shelved, where it remained until one of the stars of the film got it off the shelf and paid for its completion, and it was finally released in 1997, far after Mario Bava's death. I get the sense that this film was supposed to be Bava showing he could run with a current horror crowd that was doing The Last House on the Left at the time because this film feels like it wants to copy that style and ferocity. Hell, it even has a forced self-urination scene just like The Last House on the Left did. And at times, Rabid Dogs does feel like a poor man's The Last House on the Left, but it's being shown in near real time and almost taking place entirely within a moving vehicle give the film enough to stand on its own. It also has a performance from the man who would later write and star in Anthropophagus, which we've already talked about, George Eastman. Rabbit Dogs gets really bogged down by the last house on the left copycat scenes and a double ending where neither twist is really viable. The first twist feels like it was a script fix the night before shooting the scene because they wrote themselves into a corner, and the final twist is cool to see, but once you start to think about it, it starts to fall apart. I am glad I own the collection that has both versions of the film so I can one day try out Kidnapped, but that day is most assuredly not today. Oh, and what is with the one bad guy seeing a pinball game in play as he watches his best friend die in the back seat? That made no goddamn sense. I'm going to give Rabbit Dogs a B. Tomorrow we move on to another film from Mario Bava, this one less Bay of Blood and more Knives of the Avenger. It's called Roy Colt and Winchester Jack, and it's tomorrow. See y'all then.